Hello and welcome to a pro patch breakdown here at LOL Class. Let's take a look at this week's changes. So the Fiora's rework, they pretty much changed everything about Fiora, but she's still pretty much an assassin bruiser, I think. They made it so that they decreased her HP, base HP, and HP per level, but they increased her regen a bit, her mana regen, makes her leaning face a little better. Her attack range is longer, she has more damage now. Or she is probably not that much difference for the base damage since they lowered the damage per level. Or she's a bit tankier now since her armor is increased and armor per level is increased. So she's better against some AD tops now. Or could lane better versus them. And her passive pretty much makes it so that she's pretty good into tanks now. Since she does true damage and a percent of the target's maximum health. Her Q, you're probably gonna max Q. If you hit a target, it's refunded so you could spam Q in lane. And then Fiora's new W, instead of reflecting damage, is now a targetable skill that dashes in a target direction, dealing damage to them and uh, avoiding avoiding any damage that uh, they use to pursue. But you could dodge it with the target skill. And if they use a stun on you, right. yeah, if they use a stun on you, you stun them instead of slowing. So with the, the rest of the change, Fiora's ENR, I think she's gonna be good against laning versus tanks now, since she does true damage and uh, can dodge skills and stuff. I think her laning phase will be a lot better than her old rework, and she might have more outplay ability. The echo changes, I think, will buff him more so if you're playing like a tanky, consistent damage dealing echo rather than on release. We saw more of the assassin echo that goes in, kills someone, and comes out. But with a shield like this, you can definitely play as someone that comes in and can do consistent damage, jump back out with his ult, come back in and do multiple rotations and spells. And with the extra heal and the extra shield, he can be a really beefy champion if you get enough AP. The Nelly changes pretty much makes it so that it's harder to land the Q now. They made the cast time increase, so it takes longer to throw the spears, so I think it's going to be hard to hit the spears. You're going to have to time it a lot more now. And it also does less damage, so it makes it so that you clear slower. And it's also harder to hit your Qs when you gank. Silver nerf is pretty interesting. Just reducing the move speed that it gives is... Obviously it hurts her, but I don't know if that'll totally kill her. Um, I don't know if it was ever really... If it ever really mattered uh, how much move speed you're getting. It's mainly just the fact that you're getting move speed for a good amount of time. Uh, I don't know if it'll also this will kill her. I think the biggest silver killer is just matchups in general. Like, if it's not worth picking her with so many counter picks available. So I, I don't think this really hurts that badly. Uh, obviously, taking away utility on any kit doesn't help, but I don't think that would totally remove her from competitive. For the team mode changes on PBE, uh, the stealth one actually looks really interesting that you stealth even faster while in the brush and you can actually move around. It's going to make him a lot trickier, especially if you're playing top lane Teemo or just using the side lane brushes to escape from a gank. It can actually make it really tricky and even set up counter ganks where you're baiting them into shrooms and running around invisible, dodging their skill shots. For the alt change where you can bounce the shrooms off each other, is uh, it's it's pretty fun. I think the most likely way that's going to be used is either for wave clear or if you set up a shroom field where you can you can set up uh, like a little system from a brush, for example, and you can bounce shrooms off the same brush consistently because they won't be able to see your other shrooms and know that you're doing it. So it, it does look pretty interesting and I can't wait to see how it's going to pan out. So the most hated champion in the game gets love right at this, this patch. Um, his passive is now even better, whereas before you knew, you didn't really make use of the passive. It was kind of useless to be honest. You sometimes cheese people with it, but not really make more, much use of it. But now there's more to it and it's better for top lane Teemo because they added a brush mechanic where you can camouflage really quickly. So if you get ganked, then you can just go into brush and camouflage in like a very, very fast amount, uh, like 0.75 seconds amount of time. And then after being camouflaged, you can move around in the brush without breaking yourself. So you'll be stealth the whole time you're moving around. So you can get into a like corner of a brush and then run to the other corner of a brush and then maybe flash out before you're getting uh, killed. So he makes top lane, top lane Teemo a lot more, uh, a lot harder to gank because of this. And his ultimate also got more, some changes, whereas now they increase the range of it by a lot. Before you used to use place your shrooms on your feet, but now you can actually throw them from a distance. So it's a lot better for not having to leave your lane for as much uh, long of time and just be able to 
throw them from a distance and get back to lane. And also throw them over walls, throw them over situations where you couldn't walk into. And it just overall is a, a much better ability to, to have. And they also added that you will be able to bounce the shrooms off each other. So say if you throw a shroom at the max distance, you can even throw it another one at the same spot and it will bounce off of that one a little bit further up. So you have uh, a lot of range on it now. So it may, it's going to be extra range if you bounce it off, but I don't think it would be as accurate. Um, I would still suggest just play some regularly. I'm not sure how it works just quite yet still they haven't played it but i think it's overall it's just really good strong changes to teemo at least for top lane it benefits him quite a bit with the whole uh, stealthy mechanic and the range of the mushrooms so i'm excited for the changes and i think i'll be annoying people in solo queue with it so the zeke's change is kind of interesting i think it makes a lot of sense because they change it so it's slower stacking but increased reach in which Kind of puts more of an emphasis on the actual like critting part whereas last patch uh it kind of was just procking a lot of the times for a short duration it, it wasn't that short six seconds but eight seconds is a lot longer and that's gonna be a pretty long time and really noticeable whereas six seconds i was kind of just always confused on when it was up i wasn't really sure and then it would go away like pretty soon but eight seconds and slower charging makes a lot of sense i don't think it will hurt the item uh it's kind of just like a neutral buff just because it doesn't really change its uptime much it just puts more emphasis on when you have it and that's it for this pro patch breakdown thanks for watching and for more league of legends content featuring the pros make sure to visit lowclass.com